I've been wanting to do this uh, comparison between the iPad Pro 11 inch and the um, Galaxy Tab S4 for a while. Uh, I've looked online and I can't see any kind of similar comparison so I want to show why I think for now uh, an iPad is the way to go with um, uh, you know with, with Lightroom. So everything I like a lot about the, uh, the Tab S4. Um, it feels good in the hands, it feels like a premium device, and it feels pretty snappy. But when it comes to Lightroom, I'm not sure what the deal is with the programming. Um, color tones are a little different. Um, I would say the iPad Pro looks pretty similar to my um, uh, calibrated screen. So I'm, I'm sure you can make some adjustments to um, the Samsung. But the biggest thing that bothers me is the speed. So when it comes to editing, so right now, if you look at these two, you know, these are synced to the devices. Everything is is um, is on the uh, uh, the tablets. So what that means is I've synced these files. Um, you know they're currently on the devices. They should not be slow because of um, you know the files having to load. But if you if you look really closely at the exposure. Um, uh, you know the, the these levers, and I want to do this perfectly, and I'm going to stumble over my words, but the point hopefully will get across, even though I'm not going to do it perfectly. So, but watch these when I switch the next photo. These are already available. These are grayed out. Look how long that took. I'm going to do it again. Watch really closely. They're already available. Grayed out. Ignore that. It's a preset synchro synchronization error that really doesn't affect what this test is all about. So this is pretty instantaneous. Watch. Look at that. This one, grayed out, taking time to load. There we go. Taking time to load. Finally. Okay. And you'd think that maybe it's just like the, the, the tab needs to be updated. Um, but this has been with every Android device I've tried and every Apple device, even if it's an older um, or even a basic iPad, does better than this. I have uh, the regular iPad that was released at the end of last year, 2018, and it is quicker than this. I don't have it here for the test right now. Um, believe me when I say this, that it's a, an issue that seems to be across the board with Android. So this is a, um, a, uh, a Note 8. Um, I know it's a little bit on the older side again, but it's got a decent processor in it. This is um, the iPhone X, or 10, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to load up. And let's bring this into edit mode. Again, files have already been edited, have been um, synchronized to these devices. So everything should be quick. So I'm going to bring up the exposure, controls. Keep a close eye on this. And obviously the screen is much nicer and bigger uh, when it comes to having controls and you can use the S Pen, which is really great. Uh, you don't get that with the iPhone 10. But again, keep an eye on these uh, levers as I as I flip through. Already available. Still grayed out. There we go. I'm gonna do it with all the devices at the same time and see how it looks. Obviously, that wasn't perfect. But these are already available. This is crazy. Uh, I'm not sure why this is. There we go. So Android is really lagging you know, when it comes to responsiveness. Uh, I'm not really sure why. Um, I was really happy to see that it seemed like um, like Adobe has really engineered this, um, you know, the new approach. This is like snappier than Lightroom on the desktop, which I love. Like I love culling on this. Uh, a little bit of editing, unless it's a wedding, because there's just so much more to do. Um, but I really love working off my iPad. Um, the reason why I was looking to the Android device is because of the amount of storage you can get for so much cheaper, and I like the idea of it being like a backup device, but that's really not possible if the device just lags in general. Um, the one thing I will say about Android, at least for now, until the um, iPad Pro or the iPad um, app is updated, is right now 
you can select an image in the Android version of Lightroom Mobile. And there we go, let's try this a different way. Okay, so when you have a photo loaded on um, both an Android and an, uh, an Apple device, you can, on here, within the edit module, copy settings. Great. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Copy settings. Now, if I go back out to the thumbnail view, and let's say I want to apply that preset, that, um, that, that copy and paste it to a bunch of other images, just like you might in the desktop version. Watch this. Paste settings. I can do it and it'll work. That's awesome. Try it over here. Select a bunch of images. Unselect that one so no one thinks that that's the reason why. Since that's the one that we're copying off of. You don't get that option to paste the edits. Um, it, it's probably just something that will get released in, in the next version uh, of Lightroom Mobile for uh, Apple devices. For some reason, it's available on Android. I like that because um, I like that feature, and I would love to have it on my iPad uh, because then I could do so much more editing. I could, um, you know, it's kind of a pain to have a whole bunch of photos and have to um, paste those settings one image after another, one time, one uh, at a time. I really want the ability to do what this has um, the ability to do, which is make an edit on one photo and then select a bunch and paste it. That'll definitely make it more possible to edit a larger um, amount of photos, like maybe a wedding. Um, for now, I, I really only edit maybe engagement sessions and, and smaller portrait sessions on my iPad and maybe the occasional photo from a wedding. So that's, the, that's basically what I wanted to, to show in this video is um, a comparison of how Android and Apple devices handle um, Lightroom Mobile. Um, I'm really hoping Android can somehow catch up because uh, I like a lot about the file management and how simple it is. Apple is starting to open up a little bit with iOS 13, which I had a chance to play around with, but it's still a little buggy. Uh, so overall, I think in the next like, couple of years, maybe uh, tablets will be more of a, 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 of a, um, of a great hand editing device to use, but for now, they both kind of have some of their, uh, their downsides. But overall, this is what I carry with me almost uh, almost all the time. I do so much off of it. It's easy to share images. Uh, show that. Like if I want to post a photo to Instagram, I love that my whole library of photos is like right here, and I can just go like that and share it. I've had brides who've asked me for specific photos from a wedding day, and it's no problem just to like send off a couple here and send them via message. So. That's it. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, but hopefully this was informative to somebody.